Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and we're here at Pete's Airgun Farm and I'm here to show you the very latest Daystate SAR which is um, <clears throat> actually represents uh, a welcome comeback for the company into field target shooting. Um, I'm known for sort of my origins in field target back in the 80s, um, sort of when it started. Um, but so we got to sort of I think it was around 88, and I actually um, was using one of the um, Daystate Huntsman FTRs, which was their field target rifle at the time. A really nice little. Comp compact um, basic rifle but I did have a few tournament wins with that um, and it was it was a cracking gun this is um, slightly in a different league it's um, sort of it's a classic example of just how far um, field target guns have come um, in the in the intervening decades uh, as you can see you've got the um, quite a dramatic uh, blue laminate stock here which is quite a sweeping distinctive design and then off of that comes all your fully adjustable elements. Um, if we just nail the basics with this first of all, this is, I say, the Daystate SAR. It's £1,900 uh, at the moment, retail price. Um, and it's a co um, sort of joint project between Daystate in the UK and Ataman, which is a Russian company. And um, it's quite, a, quite an interesting development. I think Daystate, having spoken to Tony Bealis um, recently, he was sort of saying that the, the investment in a field target gun is quite significant and it's a very specialised section of the market. And the way Daystate have gone now with a sort of business model, um, it's, 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 it did actually represent a bit of a diversion for them. So they felt that the best way was to have a um, a team up with um, Ataman and they were quite impressed. I think they got approached by Ataman if they wanted to see if they wanted to do it. And um, basically Ataman now um, use their valving system for the um, sort of regulator in this, this rifle and then obviously it's got uh, it's a sort of co-production using Daystate's um, engineering prowess as well. And uh, the end result I must say is quite a distinctive rifle um, which I think is going to be well received on the field target circuit. Um, they've already got um, top shooters like Richard Bogey who I knew from the 80s but also latterly um, uh, Stuart who's also um, out there as well and uh, he's, he's, he's achieved a lot of stuff so they've, they've got a few top shooters on the circuit. Um, and what's going to impress them is the full adjustability so if you look to the front here you've got um, like we'd call it the hamster or the um, adjustable razor block. This is all done on a um, quick adjustable um, lever system there so that can this can be adjusted to go fur much further forward, swing forward, it can come directly down. This can all be angled for sort of uphill shots in field target and uh, it's all designed to, to cope with the system. Again moving to the back you've got a fully adjustable um, butt hook which is very popular in field target these days. It's all multi-element there, full adjustment in each of its components. And as you can see there, you've got, a, again, a quick adjuster, um, which is quite a neat feature. So if you, you, if you are going to suddenly tackle a, a, an awkward shot at a strange angle, you can quickly adjust it with that. You haven't got to worry about fumbling around for an Allen key. Quickly adjust it, alter your height, um, lock it into place again, and switch it back shot to shot, which is quite, quite good. Um, before I forget, it's also got, <coughs> a bit tricky to show you, there's a button just there which has also got it's F fire and T for training and for that you can actually switch it into the training mode represents dry fire. So effectively I'll just show you, cop the action, switch it here, I've now put it onto to training, close it up and that should just be the trigger. That allows full um, representation of the trigger movement um, so you can practice with this without even firing air which means you could stand in your lounge in theory and just get your technique right um, and then when you want to fire pull the uh, <coughs> lever back again and very nice side lever by the way um, flip it onto F on here for fire close that and you're now you're away um, so again it's another feature it's sort of packed with features and um, it's, it's got everything you want. So you've got a full adjustable cheek piece which you can adjust all over for position um, and cant. And um, you've got a pistol grip here which again is uh, 
adjustable um, on a central central rod there, um, all ergonomic. So that's right hand dedicated, feels great. Obviously, um, you can switch those around. And then moving to the front, you've got a probe system which will charge the cylinder and quite a distinctive, that sort of looks classic day state, uh, barrel diffuser or muzzle brake um, on the front there. It is actually threaded, so you could even stick a silencer on if you want, but it might end up being a bit ungainly there. But for the way it deals with the um, sort of unstable air, the theory on the muzzle brake uh, is very popular in field target. Um, so overall, um, actually sorry, I'll just mention the, the shot count. You've got 100 and, I got 150 shots within 12 feet per second uh, on test with this um, so obviously that's pretty impressive you've got great consistent that's just pellets straight from the tin so if you chose to um, monitor your pellets or weigh them head size them you could probably close that right down even more accuracy just to give you an idea that's 35 yards um, sort of straight from the tin and uh, not after much familiarity um, these rifles will um, competently confidently shoot sort of sub half inch of 50 yards which of course is the benchmark and the, the minimum requirement for field target stuff if you're going to take silver but um, I think this this rifle is going to be right up there and one of the contenders on the field target scene so that's the day state SAR